Welcome back. It's time for our second hot topic. I want to take a look at the role that AI can play in our development. In recent years, growing enthusiasm in technology on the continent, particularly among the youth, is bringing technology closer to places they are needed. However, the gap to be filled remains wide, largely on account of limited investments, infrastructure, and policies to drive growth. My guest this morning is Dominic Rume Urure, certified blockchain architect and metaverse expert. Hello, Dominic. Yeah, hello. Good morning. Thanks for having me. It's good to have you join us. I think we should start by finding out what is the difference between AI and Siri and also um, Google's Alexa. <laughs> okay, that's a very interesting question. Actually, there is no difference between artificial intelligence and Google Siri or the Alex, um, Apple Siri or Alexa itself. Now, the thing is, um, these different names that you just called, they're actually AI assistants that help people to make their life better. They help people to be able to get things. Artificial intelligence basically is a tool that helps you to get your life better, helps you to enhance what you are doing, and currently shortcut the process of maybe something that you're meant to do. It helps you to automate that particular thing, and this is what Siri and Alexa helps us to do with voice command. So at the moment today, a lot of artificial intelligence interact with them using maybe text. But with these different um, tools that you just called Alexa and Siri, you can interact with them using a voice command prompt. So you can only get better from there, interacting with these different artificial intelligence platform. All right. So filling the tech gap is a major issue right now, isn't it? How do we, how do we fill it? How does Nigeria and indeed Africa fill that gap so we don't <laughs> lag behind? Because our people, okay. are, our counterparts in the West, they are, we know where they are. <laughs> How do we bridge that gap? Yes, it is actually a very important question that needs to be asked, especially at this critical stage of the nation's digital transformation. When you look at it, the national blockchain policy was launched about on the 3rd of May 2023. And then when you look at artificial intelligence, in this case, as a new technology coming up, you can imagine in Nigeria where artificial intelligence can transform the health sector. It can create job opportunities. It can improve governance. It can boost agricultural output. Also imagine in Nigeria where maybe artificial intelligence can help tackle depressing social and environmental issues, maybe such as poverty, insecurity, climate, corruption, in Nigeria too, you can imagine in Nigeria where artificial intelligence can actually unleash creativity, talent and potential of its people. And this is not a fantasy truly. It's already a vision that we are working towards because we understand that artificial intelligence is not just a technology. It is a, it is a tool that helps you to leapfrog traditional stages of development and engage Nigeria to the forefront of new global workforce. Actually, at um, our global event for artificial intelligence and blockchain mastery last month, we showed these practical processes. And to make this vision a reality, we need a better national blockchain artificial intelligence policy that can provide a clear direction, strategy, and a framework for enough ethical and responsible use of artificial intelligence in the country. We actually need maybe a policy that can address the challenges, the risk that artificial intelligence poses, such as maybe data security, human rights, transparency, skills, and education. Because artificial intelligence is a powerful technology that can bring many benefits to Nigeria if it is deployed in a safe, fair, and positive way. Okay, how much of investments are going into tech in this country? Do you, is it enough? At the moment, um, from the data I gathered a few days back, in Africa, total, in Africa currently, we have about 30% of the investment going into digital transformation projects. And at the moment, when you look at a growing population of about 60%, which is the young population for Africa, well, we can say 
um, it is a bit fair at the percentage that's going into that particular type of investment. I don't want to be specific with Nigeria. I think we need to actually increase the type of investment going to our infrastructure fast. Um, facilities, especially with artificial intelligence. If we want to be able to automate the systems of the future, get the education, the workshops that are needed to actually learn how we can harness artificial intelligence for good, then we need to actually increase more of what is currently going into the infrastructure and development of artificial intelligence in Nigeria. In my last book, From Code to Consciousness, when bridging the gap between artificial intelligence and human for powerful results. I was sharing some insights on how artificial intelligence can be the game changer in Nigeria's development. And education, workshops, practical um, sessions, just like what I told you we did last month, are needed to actually learn how we can harness artificial intelligence and shape the future. Talk to us more about some of these things you just talked about, you, you, you wrote in your book. Okay, so when I say it can be a game changer for Nigeria's development, and you talk about something like artificial intelligence can help for maybe corruption and all that, you can see that, that um, let's say, I know, let's talk about the healthcare sector, for example. We can see a company like one in Lagos called Better Life at the moment, they help to be able to see that, okay, um, they use artificial intelligence to identify blood patterns a way that okay let's say you have um, victims that really need blood the one that needs this blood best the quantity that needs this the quantity of blood he needs per time so that you don't even waste this particular type of product this is already something that's being used in the health sector here in nigeria and a lot of people are actually adopting this in lagos we have some traffic lights that are working using artificial intelligence at the moment in lagos in the yes in the government when you have um when you have artificial intelligence in the system, you will see that it will reduce things like padding, it will reduce things like fraud, theft, corruption. People will not be able to jit the system. And artificial intelligence can just help to make the processes of the governance actually better. And you can see that this thing will reduce a lot of risk and give much more accountability and transparency. How much have you been able to penetrate into the system, you particularly, and maybe uh, the group that you work with? Okay, currently, like um, speaking from the perspective of an author, I have been able to go deep into the system, let's say about, because it's a very deep field, let's say I'm there at the moment about 50%. I hope to be able to grow my skill to the highest level of it. Because, you know, the, in the words of Michael Silo, once in every five years, a revolutionary technology comes that changes everything. And when you learn how to be able to be a master of that technology, you become an immortal. Same thing as the transformation is happening to me already. That's how the transformation will happen to Africa, to Nigeria. If we're able to actually go with this technology for, for the next five years, this technology went mainstream last year. So we still have about four years to capitalize on it, just like when the blockchain came out. You can see that um, in 2018, a lot of companies they were talking about blockchain, 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 and they saw the, the price of their stock go up. In 2023, NVIDIA stock shot up by 30% in one day. That does not happen in the stock market. That was because during their last quarter meeting, they used artificial intelligence to be able to anchor that particular meeting, which is currently the new buzzword. So it is something that is not going um, anywhere soon. And if people are actually able to take advantage of it and immortalize it now, Nigeria can actually be a first mover. I also saw too that Africa is actually one of the second continents in the world that is heavily now invested in the artificial intelligence development and putting policies to make sure that it gets its system better and working using artificial intelligence. Well, thank you so much, Dominic Rume, for your time and insights. Quite interesting, the things you just revealed to us this morning. Thank you very much. I'm extremely grateful. All right. Well, that's the much you can give you this morning on The Breakfast, but not without giving you the quote for the day. Success in creating AI will be the biggest event in human history. Unfortunately, it might also be the last unless we learn how to avoid the risks. That's according to Stephen Hawking. Well, I am Maureen Menonwezigui, thanking you for being a part of the show this morning. Do join us again tomorrow for another edition. Goodbye.